Hi everybody. So today we are working on self-portraits. And what better way to make a self-portrait than to make one in a Lego form. So we're going to use the format of a Lego to represent ourselves as ourselves. So we are going to start with the head and then go to the body and then the legs. I'm going to be drawing with a Sharpie. You need to be drawing with a pencil. A pencil. I would also be drawing with a pencil if it would show up in this camera, but it does not. So I'm just going to use a Sharpie. You will use a pencil, and then you can trace your lines with any sort of black marker. Um, when you're all done, what you're going to be doing is you are going to be coloring everything in with crayons. So I'm going to be showing you my version of my Lego self-portrait. And yours is going to be similar for the body. But when you get to the hair and the extra accessories that you're going to give to your Lego person, it's probably going to be very different than mine. So I'm going to show you my version, and you can adjust yours to be you. So we're going to start with the head. we got to leave room for the hair. So we're going to start right about here. And we are going to draw kind of like a rectangular U. So we're going to start here, go down, over, and up. We're going to make two little lines for the neck. And then we're going to make the shoulders. The shoulders go a little bit out from the head. And I'm going to connect the gap that I left there. And then we're going to curve down for the body. So we'll probably stop right about here for the body to leave room for the legs. So we're going to cur curve our shoulders down and a little bit outward. We're going to curve our shoulders down and a little bit outward. We want to stop to make sure that they're about the same length. And then we're going to connect them. Then we're going to make another little line, like a skinny rectangle, and connect those. So we have our body, our neck, and our head. Now we're going to work on those legs. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to make lines straight to the bottom of our paper. So we are going to just make a line straight down, line straight down. Then we're going to make <clears throat> the gap that's in between the two legs. So we want them to be about the same size. So I'm going to make this leg go about to here and this leg about here. And then this upper part, which is like the waist, we're just going to make a line going across the legs. And now from here down, that's the part that can bend with your Lego. And then I just have the feet. Make a line across, pick my marker up, make a line across, and I have my feet. So the next part that I need to do is I need to add my arms. So my arms are going to start here and they're going to go out. Just about to here. So we're going to stop right about where that line is. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Perfect. Now we're going to be making two upside down U's, or kind of like rainbows. So we're going to take this and we're going to go upside down rainbow, 
upside down rainbow. We're going to do one more. Upside down rainbow. Upside down rainbow. But that upside down rainbow isn't connecting to anything. This is where our wrist is, and we're going to be making our hands. So now we're going to be making two lines going slightly inward. So we're going to make a line going here and a line going about here. The same thing on the other side. Make a slightly angled line going in and another slightly angled line going in. Notice how I connected my two rainbow pieces together now. Now we're going to be making the claw part. So it kind of looks like a, a C for the hand. So we're going to be making one C and a backwards C. Same thing on the other side. One C and then a backwards C. And then we're going to connect it with another big rainbow or like an upside down U. So connect from one point to the other point. Do the same thing on this side. One point to the other point. And we're going to be making one more U or rainbow shape. So we're going to start at the point and do it again. That's allowing our hand to look 3D. Another one on this side. Now you have your hands. Now if you're putting something in your hands, you're going to need to erase the line of what you're drawing. So I'm going to draw a paintbrush in my one hand and you're going to see that part of the hand is going to show. You have a pencil so you're going to erase that away. So here is my paintbrush that I'm going to make. When I start, I'm going to start at the opposite side, so the side closest to the body, because my paintbrush is going to be sticking out like that. And you're drawing right on top of this. So I'm going to draw the other part of my paintbrush. And this part right here, you would erase. But I cannot erase. So I'm just going to color on top of it. Now my paintbrush could still be going on the other side of that hand. So I can also draw a little bump for my paintbrush on the other side. And that makes it look like it's behind it. You're not going to draw on top of it though. So now I have to draw my bristles for my paintbrush and that little metal piece. So I have the metal piece and then my paintbrush. And I'm going to give it some lines to make it look like the hair on the paintbrush. Perfect. Now I chose a paintbrush because I love to paint. So this, remember, is a self-portrait. So think about things that you love to do. Maybe you would have something else in your hand like, like a ball or like a baton because you like to do twirling. I don't know what it will be, but that's up to you and what is interesting and what you like to do. So next thing that I'm going to add for mine is I'm going to add my shirt. So I like to wear sweaters a lot, especially in the winter. So I'm going to draw myself a sweater. But maybe you, you like to wear Nike t-shirts or Under Armour or clothes with the school logo on them. I don't know what your interest is, but whatever it is, that's what you should be focusing on because this is all about you. So I have my sweater. I'm going to have it come down. 
can come over. So I'm going to make this sort of a collar here. And then my sweaters usually have a couple buttons. So I'll put one button here, button here, and a button here. And my sweaters usually have pockets in them. So a nice way that you can do a pocket is that you can show it with some lines, like so. And maybe you have like a little pocket up here too. I'm not going to draw one for me, but you might have one. Okay, so I have my two pockets, I have my sweater going, and now I need to do my face. So my face, I am always smiling. I love to smile. So I'm going to start with my eyes, and I'm going to do these really, almost like, I'm really smiling really hard, so it almost looks like my eyes are closed. So I'm gonna make another kind of a rainbow shape and another kind of a rainbow shape. And I'm gonna color that in. And I'm gonna color this one in. sure that they are even so if you need to add more you always can do that all right and I have a big smile so I'm going to put a little curve there and a little curve there like they're my cheeks and a big smile And then I'm going to show my teeth, because I'm always showing my teeth when I smile. Here we go. And then I have eyebrows. I'm going to show my eyebrows. Eyebrows really help make your facial features be expressed. And I wear glasses. So I'm going to show my glasses also. I have rectangular glasses. And then I need to show my little side parts of my glasses. And the last thing that I need to add is my hair. I have curly hair. So, and I also have a part in my hair. So I'm gonna start over here for my part. And show some waves. I'm gonna go this way, show some waves. Now friends, at this point, for the sweater, the face, the hair, the accessories in your hands, maybe you wear necklaces, this is all up to you. So this is how I'm designing my self-portrait. Yours will be what you look like. So there's other options than what I am doing. Give myself a couple more waves in the hair. And there we go. Last thing I need to do is color in my Lego self-portrait and give it a background. 
and that part is all the way up to you. But we are going to use crayons. So, can't wait to see yours. It's going to be awesome. <laughs>